Here is where we keep the bunnies and the chickens. Uh, we have this little chicken run and some chickens. And we have the aviary netting up there because there will be hawks around and you know we made sure to double double fortify the fencing area because uh, last night there were a ton of coyotes howling outside and they would love to eat these tasty little chickens uh, but they're not really allowed to because we need eggs. So let's go see if we have some eggs. Uh, here's our little indoor coop. And the boxes are empty. Oh, except for some chickens in there. Hello, chickens. You want some eggs for me? You got some eggs? No, not yet. Still working on it? Still working on it? Okay, I can be patient, I guess. Sometimes they'll just be sitting on a couple. And here are the bunnies. See, there's a bunny. Here's a bunny. Hey, sweetheart. How you doing? Um, this is Tura. She is almost eight weeks old. She's a baby chocolate chinchilla set in Angora. And she's got a great personality. I love her. Very sweet girl. And this is her cage. Alright, before you go all like animal rights on me, this is a pretty sweet cage and she kind of digs it. Um, it's uh, 24 by 48 and I took two smaller ones and put them together with the J clips. And that's most of my cages. Okay. And uh, this is Howard. He's a chocolate. He's kind of in a molt. You can see his coat's all weird and light. Um, he, li he likes this little beer bottle box. He kind of really enjoys hanging out in there. And uh, he's also a big sweetheart. And he is going to a pet home because he's just a real darling. Um, but he's a little too small to breed. You know, he wouldn't make a great shoe breeder. So, finding him a nice pet home where he can work his personality. And here is Louisa. She is a very big fat rabbit. They're all fat and angolas, by the way. Yes, yes, yes. I'll, well, you have so much food over there, though. Look at all that food all over the place. Okay. Anyway, so, um, she's a little, uh, bit of a snot, I guess. I don't know what to say about that. She kind of doesn't like being touched as much as the other ones, but that's okay. She's been building a nest. I'll see if I can get some clips of her working on that. Her hormones are going nuts. Maybe that means she's going to have babies. Maybe it means a false pregnancy because she is nesting a little bit earlier than would be expected. And if you're noticing that empty water bottle, like look, we're transitioning to water bottles because it's warm now. So don't go all crazy, animal rights, see the water level. And this is Raj. He's my little stud buck. And uh, I don't know if you can hear him, but he's like such a horn dog. He'll freak out whenever I come to the cage. Ow, hey! Why are you doing that? Because he wants me to bring him a doe. But, uh, not today, my dear boy. Not today. So, anyway. Um, yeah, these latches, they get stuck. Which is kind of annoying. So I might have to get new latches for these cages. But, uh, they are, like, a lot newer construction, and I think they used better metal than my other cages, which were hand-me-downs. 
Um, yeah, so these, like, you do want to clean out a pan, um, which I have pans for my rabbit cages. You do want to uh, clean those out, like, once a week, and it's just about time, like, six days of rabbit poo right there. And, uh, Raj is very excited. He thinks he's getting a doe, but he's not. Okay, so if you're going to have pretty rabbits, you're going to have a big pile of compost. So I've been working on this compost, just piling it up for kind of a year now. Um... But hopefully today we'll be cleaning out the chicken coop and cleaning out the rest of the pans. See, I hear where the pans kind of leave them here to dry and disinfect a little bit. I'm cleaning out some cages so I can switch cages in a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm planning on turning this into hot compost. It's going to be great. This is kind of a project I'm doing just for fun. Hoping for it to be a pasture pen or a tractor. Uh, so what that means is once I have it all together, like this will connect to the little silly house thing right here. And I'll have some probably chicken wire on the top. And I'm using uh, some of the side panels from the cages that I took apart as a floor. So the idea is I'll be able to like drag the cage around the yard and have either, you know, a couple chickens or a rabbit living in here, eating the grass, getting some new pasture every day. So that's what I'm working Maybe on. Maybe we can get you to build the nest. Come on, build a nest. <laughs> 